Hello again, welcome back to the channel. Today is part three and potentially the finale to the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the graphic adventure. And um, we're playing it on the A500 Mini. Okay, so a couple of housekeeping things to take care of at first. What I'm gonna do quickly is load up the a previous save. Now, if you recall this part here, and the reason that we had the save game um, was this picture of the Grail in the Nazi safe. Um, basically, that picture there shows the Grail is glowing. And what I had to do was look in the original... In, in the original game, you've got a, a Grail diary in your box. This is kind of like a sort of primitive form of copy protection from back in the day. The Grail will change pretty much every time you play the game. Uh, what the correct Grail is at the end of the, uh, the game itself. But these are sort of a series of clues. There'll be stuff in the Grail Diary and it has descriptions. And I'll show you this now on the screen. It has a description of the Grail Diary. It has a, a couple of different ones. If your painted is glowing within this safe here, then you look for the description, which you can see on the screen right now on the right hand side. It's underlined and it says about the, the Grail glowing. And uh, I will just read to you what it says. Uh, a shallow bowl of pewter dented in many places, engraved with a design of grapes and grape leaves, as well as writing in the script of the Jews. It was wrapped in a cloth of gold and silk and seemed to glow with its own light. So that means that that's the description that we're looking for. So I think when it comes to choosing the correct grail at the end of the game, we are looking for a shallow bowl of pewter engraved with the design of grapes and grape leaves. Now, I can't remember how accurate the description is when you search them at the end of the game, but that should be the correct grail. Now, don't quote me on that because it could be wrong completely. But that is the reason why I kept that save game last time. Just because I wasn't 100% sure what we were looking for on that one. Um, so let's load the game back up that we need. So hopefully that will take care of that in its own time. Um, today I decided on here, there's two routes you can go here. You can go straight to a biplane and fly straight to pretty much where the grail is but you're going to miss the whole Zeppelin sequence if that's the case. The Zeppelin sequence is hard, in my opinion, because you might potentially have to fight a load more guards. Um, it's tricky. I'm hoping I can avoid most of them, um, but it is tricky. And you saw how bad I fought last time. I actually can't remember the keys at all <laughs> for this playthrough. So, you know, it's going to be best to avoid them. I could have gone the sneaky route and like looked up a little solution on how to start the biplane and everything else, but... For you guys, I'm going to try and go the difficult route so you get to see everything in the game. If things don't work out, we've got this safe. We can come back and just fly the biplane and cut the whole Zeppelin sequence out completely. But we're going to give that a go. So without further ado, I think we're ready to start here. Let's just... I've got, I've got a few windows open on my PC, so I'll make sure that goes down. And off we go. Let's have a little look. Right, I think this is the first time we have to switch to Henry. Um. Actually, we'll switch to Indy first because we need to get him in position. Because I think, actually, what we'll try and do first is we'll try and just do this first. I don't think we've got enough money to buy tickets, if I remember correctly. So we have to steal them. There we go. Let's do it anyway. Yes, as you can see, we only have 90 marks. So, <laughs> for sure, um, we don't have enough. Um, so, we'll just give it never mind. Because, <laughs> what else can we do? Okay, back to here. This guy here, um, if you look at what is, I think when he turns around, if he turns around. I think he has some tickets. Okay, anyway, we'll talk to him. We'll talk to him first and we'll see. Talk to him. Um, no, okay. Well, there you go. Do you see the tickets poking out of his pocket? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll switch to Henry, put him on this side. And I think if we talk to him about his grandchildren, if I remember correctly, we can switch back to Indy. 
and steal his tickets. Yoink. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, keep your voice down, Indy. Just a fly, yes. <laughs> it's clever. Okay. I think we just walk out, don't we now? Do we just walk out to the exit? I suppose so. Yeah, looks that way. It's funny the things you remember. So now I could go straight to the, the biplane here. Um, if things do go south, actually, I'll tell you what, let's throw, um, let's throw the save in here. Because everything went perfect there, so. We'll unlock you and save. Okay. And we'll lock it back up just to be certain. Okay, so that is the the default save we've got going there. Um, just in case things go a bit wrong. Okay. And as usual, we're going to do the crop again. Okay. Right, so we will try the Zeppelin route. Uh, I think I can remember what I've got to do around the Zeppelin. I'm just hoping and praying that I don't run into too many guards because that is the the bad thing that can happen on here. Oh, look at them looking like tiny little stick insects down there. See, I think to fly that biplane, you had to have found the manual in Venice. But you can cheat because obviously, you know, guides are up for that. So I could have, I could have done that. But I figured you'd want to see all the all the game had to offer. And if we if we fly straight to where the Grail is, then obviously it's going to be a short episode as well. So let's just give him the tickets. I'm assuming that's what we do. Thank you. Right now, if I remember correctly, we've got to again switch to Henry at some point. Um, actually, oh, he doesn't look happy. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's what we've got to do. See, we've got to destroy the radio. Um, if you remember from the movie. So what we'll do is we'll keep India out here. I believe we've got to get in that room, but we've got to distract the guard, if I remember correctly. So we'll switch to Henry. Take him in here. I think it's to do with the piano. See, I like to look around, but the, the problem with it is I don't, Want um no sorry you can't think you can interact with anybody anyway um because you, I don't know if we're under any kind of time pressure here right so let's use some coins in yeah I think we can request a song don't think it matters what we pick but. Let's have some Edelweiss. Why not? <laughs> okay, fair enough then. Uh, oh yeah. This is the music for the movie. <laughs> so you see now the guard comes out. Right, now we've got to go to Indy. Okay. My cursor's acting really weird. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> it's floating around. We might not have got that done in time. Yeah, we didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll try that again in a second. Go back to Henry. 
so you only do get a short time limit. I don't know why my cursor was floating. Maybe it's because I did what is. Um, hopefully that was all it was and my game wasn't going funny there because that would be a disaster. Okay. Again, I don't think it matters what we pick. He's going to pick that tune every time. I hope we don't only get a certain amount of like goes at this. He might stay out of the room, I guess, until we've done what we need to do. for that <laughs> yeah see so he's going to get on that again you get the sense this is all like time pressure don't you that should hopefully oh there we go. Oh wow, slowest ladder in history. Right, okay, now we walk up here. Right, okay, this is now the scary bit. <laughs> because this is where we're gonna... Uh, I will warn you in advance, I will probably be making multiple saves here. So... Um, Let's just get on that. I'll save that one. I always forget you've got to load it again immediately after. Now, obviously, we need to do our crop thing. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Don't do anything. Thank you. Right, let's go. Okay, uh, as you can see, there's already guards around here. They're already coming. It's not good. I'm not sure how we get out of this one. I might have to just load the game. Because I'm not fighting immediately. <laughs> I'm not fighting immediately. Oh, I suppose I got to. I'm not doing too bad here. I haven't been practicing. <laughs> wow, <laughs> got him. <laughs> wow. I'm actually quite stunned. Oh, don't you come down here as well. All right, let's quickly see if we can run away. No, we can't run away. There's two guards coming. Oh no. Well, that's not fair. Have I sussed this? Oh no, it's blocking me now. Showing some skills. <laughs> I hope these guards aren't like never ending. Oh, 
Tamam. Things are going way too well. <laughs> way too well. Okay, now he's going to come down. So I think what we need to do is quickly try and get to this ladder if we can. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, I hope I haven't reset everything. Well, that could be a disaster. Oh, well. Let's go up. <laughs> God, I hope I haven't reset that. That would be absolutely awful. No, the guards are still here. I think I got this sussed. Who knew backing up was the way to go? I mean, it might make for boring viewing, I don't know, but as long as I'm not getting killed, I don't care. <laughs> now, hopefully, that means there's no more guards on this level. No, there are more guards, so they must just keep coming. Oh, that's not good, is it, if they just keep coming? It's not really very fair, either, to be honest with you. Right, do we go up here? Let's try going up this ladder. Actually don't know where the... Um, heck, I'm going, but... I feel a bit more confident now um, I can beat a few of these guards. I would like to save it, but I'm not actually sure if it's going to pause, so maybe we need to just keep going. I don't actually know if we go up. I think I'll probably go down here. So let's fight this guy. Didn't think he was going to move then. That guy was blocking me more than I would like because I hope that doesn't mean they're becoming self-aware. Keep going, Lee. Keep going. Well, as soon as we get in here, save. <laughs> quickly and do it right this time you idiot um okay save thank you load okay i don't actually know obviously what direction i'm supposed to be going in here let's go as far up as we can here <laughs> Mixing it up.
I really don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to be going or not. The thing is, the fighting's going so well that I'm not as worried as I would have been. Guards after me all over the place here. Let's go that way. I really don't know if I'm going in the right direction. At least I'm proving I'm not using a guide anyway, because otherwise I'd know exactly where I was bloody well going. Oh, I've gone the wrong way there, that is for sure. All right. I'm actually getting quite confident now with the fighting. <laughs> Don't want to get too confident now. That is where it will all go wrong. I think I put up a good fight, actually. All right, let's see. I'm hoping to go down that blue thing there and that might be it but I don't know we've gone up all the way so far haven't we so that's what worries me is this is just not going well I suppose we'd have to go down though to get to the biplane because it must be hanging from the bottom of the thing so well this looks different alright let's assess Come this way and assess. Oh, okay. So they're both going the same direction. Oh, is this going to be right? I don't actually know how I control the biplane when I get there. Oh, straight into a guard. I didn't even realise that. Keeps blocking my upper punch now. I hope these guards aren't getting harder because it seemed to me like he was a little bit tougher. I feel like I've gone the long way here. Oh, there's the biplane. There it is. There might be no more guards then. Well, there's one coming, but that very much he can get to me in time. You know, I thought I, I wish I'd fought more guards at the castle now, considering how well I handled that. Right. I didn't think I'd get out then. I was panicking. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, here we go. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, they explained how I got there first, yeah. Now, I don't know how I'm going to control this. Fire, yes, land, no. Yeah, this is from the movie. I don't know if it matters, actually, if how quickly you get shot down. Okay. Oh, yeah, left and right. All right, we got this. Up. Oh. <laughs> it's not very high-tech, is it? Let's face it. Oh my god, I'm going all over the place. Oh, flipping it. Oh, I'm supposed to keep it steady, I think, for Henry. Uh oh. I thought you were supposed to be shooting them. Oh, come on, Henry. Oh, for the love of my. Okay, well, that didn't last long, did <laughs> Yeah, we're going down. That's fine. I think we're okay with that. See, something we did earlier is now going to come into play. Oops. <laughs> uh, what do 
we do. Well, we still got the biplane noise. Maybe it's just because the biplane's still on the screen. Um, let's use a car. Oh, we, are we using that one or the? Oh yeah, we are. Okay, fair enough. Now, obviously, if you screw up the biplane and you don't have what I've got in my possession, you have to fight all these guards. Um, you know, it might be fun actually, considering I got on quite well earlier, but we're not going to do that because this is the reason why we got this lovely pass earlier on in the game. And that's why we went, went back to Berlin and that's why we, uh, we did what we had to do there, because it makes this section of the game a lot easier. Got a long way to go, haven't we, through Europe before we get to where we need to go. So if you didn't have the pass, you'd either have to talk your way out of this, or you would have to fight every guard. Yeah. Kind of like feel like I want to fight at least one of them, but you know, we haven't actually saved it, so that might not be the smartest move. Why don't we, while we're here, let's throw a save in quickly. Maybe I'll fight a guard just for a bit of a laugh. Um, I don't think we need to go back to the biplane now, do we? But we'll, we'll just, we'll do this save. Um, and I'll lock it just in case I'm an idiot. And we'll load it. Okay, here we go. Okay, I've got to crop it back in. I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted to fight one. <laughs> Shall we see how good I've got at fighting? Let's do it. What? Well, why not? We're only going to be at the temple next, so it's going to be a short episode otherwise. Let's beat one up. Throw a punch. I don't know if I have enough room actually to back up all the way like I did at the Zeppelin. This could go wrong. This could go horribly wrong. I don't have the room. Okay, we're not going really to doing this again. <laughs> Just about got him. All right, we're not doing that again. That's my boy. <laughs> Well, at least you saw what happens when there's a punch up. Um, yeah, that was not good. Yeah, okay, we'll use the pass from now on. <laughs> I apologize. See, it's what you get when you get too cocky. Okay, I feel like I need to explain myself. I've just cut a whole chunk of this video out. I did the usual thing again. I actually hit the home button, as you do, to save the game. I was saying how laborious it is and I'm apologizing and everything else for saving the game. And what did I do? I bloody loaded it again, didn't I? <laughs> so I just had to come back and do that section again. Right, so we will be saving the game this time. Um, as I explained, I don't know if I've re-explained, but um, you can't save in the temple. So this is the last chance you get to save this game. So we are going to lock it up and off we go. Right, let's get in the temple. I think we can just... Can we just walk over there? Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, hang on, I've got a. I just realised I haven't cropped it back in yet. There we go. That's better. Oh, bouncing head. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, this is the place. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Okay, right. There's the slime bag. Damn straight. Damn straight, Indy. Oops. Oh, now you got a reason. Except maybe that. <laughs> I love the humour in these games. They're so funny. Yep. I said, now you can refer... I don't know if you can refer to the Grail Diary... Can you look at the Grail Diary in this game? No, maybe... Maybe you can't then. Yeah, I think he just says only the Penitent Man will pass. Um, okay, so... I'm sure there's a bit... specific bit you have to click on get past this um oh my where the heck is it though is it that maybe no <laughs> i think i got killed <laughs> oh dear this could be a long time because you have to hit exactly the right spot be back in a jiffy <laughs> even explain that with humor Okay, so we have to get exactly the right spot here. Oh dear, this is going to be tricky. Ooh, sucking myself up. Maybe that? Because that looks different from all the rest. This is definitely a dot on the floor you have to hit. Yes, there it is. Oh, thank goodness for that. Yeah, keep going, Indy. One more. Oh, that's it. Imagine trying to spot that back in the day um, on the old TVs and stuff. Maybe, maybe it looked clearer. I don't know, because it didn't look very clear there. Okay, so we have to do... It's Jehovah, but Jehovah is spelt with an I, if you remember, from the movie. So we have to... Okay, that doesn't work. Why did that not work? Oh, don't believe this. <laughs> oh, maybe we've got to go from his clue. Maybe this is different every time as well. Just like um, the grail is different every time. Okay. Well, at least we know how to do that bit now. Because <laughs> I don't want to keep getting my head chopped off. All right, so obviously we've got to listen to the word he was repeating. Because in the movie, it's Jehovah starts with an I. Remember that scene, that famous scene? Okay, so Jehovah. So we're going to go J, E, H, I guess we go J again. V. H. Uh, here we can go there. There's a lot of blocks to go on here. I don't like this. E. H. E. H. H. V E U E V <laughs> Imagine if I ballsed it up now. 
Thank God. Yeah, the thing is, we might have to go through that again yet if I can't get this bit right. <laughs> now, I can't remember what we have to do here. Now, this is going to be the tricky one. Right, if I remember correctly, obviously you have to pick A spot over here. I think it might be the bit that sticks out the furthest, so oh, this could be a disaster. Let's go. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, please tell me that just carries on. Oh, I've got to do that whole bridge thing again. This is frustrating. <laughs> right. No, I've gone too far that time. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Okay, pants up man again. Be honest, I'm getting goddamn sick of the penitent. <laughs> that bit's easy. I wish we could skip the next bit because I'm not being funny. This is going to take bloody forever again. Is it the same word? I didn't even notice. Yes, it is. J E H O J B H H U. I don't have to keep saying the letters. You can see the letters. This is not taking too long. Okay, so this is the tricky bit that I've got to get right. There is a trick to doing this, but I actually can't remember what it is. Trying to see, I'm looking over there to see if there's any signs of like, you know, what um, I need to do, but there isn't really, is there? At the end of the day, I'm just gonna probably have to just go for it. Okay. Let's do that. Nope. <laughs> this is going to take a long time. I think I do remember doing this multiple times on the Amiga so when I had like the A500. And you can imagine how frustrating that was. I actually completed this game, I think, for the first time when I had a broken wrist. I was forced to play more point and click adventure games back then. Oh, so. We're going to play out a hunch, um, if I make it through here, of course. Uh, I'll go that way, haven't I? Right, I'm 
just go straight for it because it is like what is it the leap of faith isn't it after all so maybe we just like by by messing around we're just not There we go. That was the trick. Don't take any time. Oh, there we go. Okay, now got another another ch uh, trick here. Okay, let's watch this first before I start speaking. Oh yeah. You see there's a lot of bowls on that table. <laughs> So I think if we use what is, we might get a description. Plain shallow bronze vessel. So we want the ones that are glowing. Spells of blessing. Holy symbols. Ceramic drinking cup. I hope the other one's got the clues that we need, otherwise we could be in trouble here. Shallow pewter with engraving, that's the one. That's the one we want. Remember the clues. In it. Oh, this is the moment. Did we did we get it right? Oh, this. No, we didn't. Oh. How did we not get that right? Okay, so here we are again. <laughs> it's been a few tries. Failed a few times. I don't mind doing this bit again. This bit like doesn't take long. It's the the crossing of the Jehovah, whatever it is that I've got to do, that is really annoying me. You should be able to save here. I mean, it's silly making you have to do all this again. Especially this bit, because it's really like, it's kind of mentally exhausting doing this bit. So it should be like the movie, once he's done it, you know, he, he knows the path, he knows it, you know. Right. We do what we have to do. So <laughs> There'll probably be a few edits in this video because I don't want to look like an absolute idiot. Although I did say to you, like, previously, that it's probably going to take a few attempts to get the grail right and everything else. Um, I've since found out, after saying, you know, um, that we've got the correct grail now, that there are a couple of glowing ones in the grail diary, so <laughs> we, could, we could choose wrong a couple of times here, quite easily. Let's just go straight away. We learnt that. So the first one and the, the last one are now easy to do, thankfully. Okay, so I have another description up now. This one says, a large ceramic drinking cup glowed like the moonlight. Okay, so... I wish we could skip all this dialogue again, though. Is there any way we can skip it? Yes, we can. 
Um, okay, so plain shallow bronze vessel, silver bowl, wooden cup carved with holy symbols. So let's try. We'll try this one then, because it says in the thing ceramic drinking cup. I'll flash that bit of the Grail Diary up on the screen at some point as well. Because uh, obviously that's different from what I said at the beginning of the video. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought there was only one option. Um, okay, we've got to use this with the... Oh, let's hope and pray this is the right one. Come on, Indy. Don't let me down. gonna be wrong on it no it's right yes <laughs> yeah oh thank goodness oh. don't say don't ask her like that <laughs> It's funny how they changed the end like that. We should have had Donovan bust him first. Doing his thing. Okay. Saving Henry. That's some strange noises. I did. Well, that's true. I did it though, really. Let's face it. Crazy. It does grant immortality. You've just got to be bored for eternity. I mean, imagine staying in a bloody cave for your entire life. I think I was supposed to pick that up. I was too slow. I mean, if she just run out the door, well, that that would have been okay, surely. Well, she's a goner. He's going to find the safe path. That's a good way. And I remember what we have to do here. You have to use the whip. <laughs> I always remember that. I thought that was cool as shit when I was a kid. Um, now, I think we've just got to give it back to the knight. I think. Because we're honourable. I like these Nazis. Wrecked your temple though, but you know, sorry about that. Yeah, I'll be picking this place up for years. Yeah. I beat into that joke. I think this could be the end of the game. I know. Don't call me Junior. <laughs> That's extra. <laughs> we don't we don't get that in the movie normally. Dead Sea Scrolls Diary. Oh no. Yes, Marcus knows the way. Nope. <laughs> Still with the jokes. Look at all the dirt coming off of him. I don't know what he got up to. There it is. Uh not bad okay <laughs> not a glowing report but I guess we did cut a few corners um, but there's another game completed on the A500 Mini and what a game what a game it is I absolutely love this game um, I 
don't know if there's anything else. I just listen to the glorious music for a bit longer first. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below if you've ever completed this game. Um, I did complete it. This isn't one I'm completing for the first time on the Mini. I did complete it way back when. Um, I can tell you exactly when I completed it, actually. It was 1990. I know that for a fact because, uh, like I said, I broke my wrist um, just before my final exams and uh, just literally came out of my plaster cast about a week before my exam. So it made... Uh, um, studying for them very interesting I couldn't actually take notes or anything because I couldn't write I broke my right wrist and I'm right handed so but um, I managed to complete this game left handed <laughs> so there you go then we says in these games that Sam and Max appear did Sam and Max appear in these games because it said it on, the, on Monkey Island I'm sure it did yeah, maybe I'm uh, imagining that I don't know but I'm pretty sure it came up in the cast of Monkey Island but yes, yes, I did originally first complete this game left-handed. It was a bit of a struggle, but um, I survived. And there were no guides back in them days either, so you know it was uh, a lot harder to complete games like this. Let's now bring up the save load screen and select load. This will save your correct series IQ. Okay, interesting. I can't remember what that means at the series IQ. I don't know if it counts. Like, imagine if that if it counted up all your Lucas Arts games. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, it probably isn't. But there you go. So this is the end now officially. I think we can press the right mouse button to come out of that. And maybe we get the title screen. Yep, it's going back to the title screen. So what I will do is send it to the A500 mini screen so I can talk to you without that music blasting in my ear holes. So there you have it, guys. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the graphic adventure completed. Two games completed. Wow. And uh, yeah, only only around about, well, we were on for two hours until all my cock-ups. I have actually more than likely cut out a couple of my attempts because, you know, they were absolutely embarrassingly stupid. Like literally, I'd click a fraction too far on the Penitent Man thing and my head was off immediately. I must have had about six or seven goes, but you might only see two or three because it's pretty boring just to see somebody keep dying over and over again, isn't it? Even though it's probably quite amusing as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I could have just got away with it and looked smart, but I did make a couple of cock-ups um, along the way. So, you know, it's best to be honest, I think. And I don't want to look like a, an expert gamer on all of these things because, you know, well, none of us are. We're not pros, are we? We just enjoy uh, playing games for fun. So, if you've got any suggestions for future videos, any games you'd like to see me play on here, then you can always suggest a game. Um, I'm at the moment using the random game picker, and I'm enjoying it. Um, obviously, this will come off the picker, and I'll replace it with another one, and we'll we'll see what happens. I am definitely doing a Secret of Monkey Island 2 playthrough, so I might even record an episode of that straight after this. So I've got a couple ready to go. Uh, but that will be the next adventure game but it won't be done through the game picker because obviously that would be a bit weird to tell you what game i'm playing and then fix the picker because <laughs> the thing i don't think you could fix that to be honest i'd probably have to spin indefinitely until monkey island 2 came up but i did say i'd made that decision myself to play that game and uh, i'm going to stick with it i'm definitely going to play that because uh, i had a lot of fun playing the first one i've had a lot of fun playing this um and there are a couple of lucasarts games on here that I've never finished. I don't think I've finished um, the Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis one. Um, barely ever played Loom, so that'll be another one to look for on here. Um, yeah, and obviously if we want to delve into some PC games, I might even play like the Sam and Max games and stuff like that. Because I do like these games. They're so fun. They're, they're always... Uh, they get you thinking, but they're also funny as well. Um, and so they're, they're good games to, to uh, record, I think, for a series. Um, they're quite good fun games to watch as well, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. As ever, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and like and share this video. If you're not new to the channel, hope you like it too. And I hope you'll share it with other people. And obviously, as always, check in with me. Happy New Year to you all. Um, I don't think this will be going up before the new year although i'm 
may edit it tonight and get it out because I'm recording this on New Year's Eve um, during the day. So I may get it up tonight before, but if not, it's more likely to be up there New Year's Day, whatever. So um, happy New Year to you and happy do, happy New Year um, to your families and everything else. And hope everybody's keeping well. Hope you had a lovely Christmas. And uh, yeah, I will see you on my next video. Okay, guys, take care. Bye for now.